welcome back to Sarah's Joyful Journey. I'm Sarah Joy and it's Tea Tuesday. It is episode 15. This episode is going to be super special. I'm honored to share the journey of my friend Sarah G. She so graciously gave me permission to share her story and she recorded some testimonials for us and included some pictures. So we're going to get discussing that in just a few moments. Tea Tuesday today. We are going to be using my Royal Albert Polka Rose. I love this one. This is my little tea for one. It's so cute. And then we're going to be drinking a green tea, which I'm learning to like more because this is the second one that I like. This is Cherry Blossom by Harney and Sons Fine Tea. This brand is pretty much my favorite brand at this point. Um, they do wonderful, unique, uh, and uncommon flavors, and I really like this one is a delicate green tea with springtime cherries. And when you look at the back, it says that um, on this side, it says there's awakening character, a spring awakening to the senses, refreshing green tea with bright, juicy cherry flavor. So the ingredients are green tea, cherry flavor, vanilla flavor, and then it also contains um, and natural flavors. So that is the tea that we are going to have today. Let's go spill the tea. Well, we have our lovely cup of tea here. This is that springtime cherry by Harney and Son or Cherry Blossom or something like that. I am horrible at remembering names right now. But it's delicious. All right, first I wanna say an extra special thank you to Sarah G for uh, allowing me the opportunity to share her story. I have a lot in common with Sarah G. Our stories are not the same, obviously. We each are different individual people and we have different stories and different lives. However, we have a lot of commonalities in within our story and I absolutely adore Sarah G. Um, her story, just like my story, is not necessarily an easy one to hear, but it is one of important value that everyone should hear because there are darker sides to life. Um, I, it's no secret I have struggled with mental health issues and suicidality, um, suicidal ideations and things like that in the past. They are a part of my journey. They are part of a lot of people's journey. And being a psych major, I feel that we need to sh share that aspect of how keto changes our mental health as well. So let's get started showing you Sarah G's amazing journey. So this is where I thought I'd end my days, in my bed. I was diagnosed with lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, scleroderma, and a few other autoimmune issues. And the doctor says, well, we can give you pills to help pain management, but there's nothing really we can do. And my mental health was not good. And I tried taking my life. But God in his grace knew that there was something out there for me that could change the trajectory of my life forever. And that was the ketogenic lifestyle. So how did I come across the keto diet? Well, it was through a series of fortunate and unfortunate events. Um, I started with the HCG diet and lost 100 pounds very quickly. And eventually that stopped working. And so then I tried Dr. Berg's uh, keto uh, diet and lost some more weight but that wasn't sustainable for me that was five cups of lettuce a day that was just not sustainable for me and so then I ran across Dr. Barry and started uh, doing uh, more carnivore 
and that has helped a lot with my autoimmune issues. I'm happy to report that my lupus is in remission. Um, I do not take any medications for my RA. I still do get stiffness um, and soreness, but it's nowhere near what it used to be, and I can still live my life very fully. Um, and after finding Dr. Berry, I found the group that I'm going to stay with forever, and that is the two crazy ketos. That was a blessing sent from God. I know it was. And I have had the privilege of becoming friends with Joe and Rachel and several from their community that are very dear to me that I love doing adventures with. I can't wait until the next one. In fact, recently we went on a cruise and I got to go with my zip landing buddy, Chris Miller, and it's awesome. And Joe and Rachel were also there. And it was just a wonderful day of doing things beyond the couch. I no longer have to live in my bed or live on the couch. I can actually enjoy life. I am not destitute to what the doctors prognose, prognose me with. And I am living my life far beyond the couch and I will continue to do it for as long as I can. And yes, there are struggles even on the keto diet with me. I recently have experienced a lot of stress. So the weight is creeping up again on me, but I am working on that stress and the weight will come off and you just have to keep at it. But what keeps me at it is my community. The Two Crazy Ketos community is what keeps me on track. So join yourself, get part of a community. I recommend the Two Crazy Ketos. That is my top recommendations for a community because they truly do care. So I absolutely agree with Sarah G. That community is amazing and is such a huge part of my journey and my continuation of my journey, just as it is in with hers. And I wholeheartedly agree. The Two Crazy Keto community is awesome. That is where I met Joe and Rachel, obviously, and I too have become friends with them. That's where I met the lovely Sarah G. And I think she's just an amazing, sweet person. And she has such an amazing testimony to share. If you don't already know her, um, go follow her on Instagram. I'll go ahead and I'll link that down below. Every day she does a positive video. Um, and it just brightens my day to see her smiling, happy face. And she is just so amazing. So she did give us another video clip that I want to share, which is from when she went on the low carb cruise. So look at this amazing women go.
Finally, Sarah G has also given us some pictures to share, so I will be showing you those now. If you wish to have your journey highlighted here on Sarah's Joyful Journey on a Tea Tuesday, I would love to share your story. You can do that by sending me a video, um, if that's what you're comfortable with. If you'd rather just uh, send me an email with your story and I can read your story um, and share some pictures, that would also be wonderful. If you don't want it shared on this channel, but you do want it to share your story, hop over to Sarah's Joyful Journey Facebook group and you can share Share that in there and get um, wonderful uh, just encouragement and positivity within the new Sarah Joy's Joyful Journey community, which is part of the larger keto community. I look forward to getting to know more of you and your journeys as well, because those are just amazing stories and I love hearing them. It's time to spill the tea on everything that's been going on with me in the past week. It's been a lot and some of the things that have happened this past week, I'm not gonna go into great detail because this is not the proper avenue. But my hand is still in pain. I go to a specialist on Wednesday to get a nerve conduction study. Well, it's not exactly a nerve conduction study. It's the same type of thing. They call it an EMG for short. Um, I can't pronounce all those big words. I am not a medical professional <laughs> in any stretch of the means, but they're gonna stick electrodes in my arm and they're going to, I guess, test for carpal tunnel. It's another form of testing. Apparently the ultrasound of the cortisone shot that I had over a week ago should have done that as well. So it's being labeled as carpal tunnel, but I'm hanging in there. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to keep marching forward and it feels a lot of times like every obstacle is being thrown my way and I am not going to be shy and say that I'm not struggling in this current aspect of my journey because I am, I am struggling. I'm frustrated most of the time. I cannot do a lot of things that I like to do. I am a very active person. I am also a very creative person and having pain in my arm, especially my right arm since I'm right hand dominant, it does affect things. I cannot do things like um, my spinning, my knitting, my cross stitch, my weaving, none of the creative outlets that I really enjoy have I been able to access recently due to this arm injury. What I have managed to do is I have managed to do a lot of reading because my days, once I get home, pretty much consist of sitting on the bed and just trying to chill. Um, with my work situation, which is gone from bad to worse, and again, I'm not going into that in great detail because it's not the appropriate space for that. Um, if you wish to reach out to me, I may or may not share that with you. It just, it just depends. But anyway, I work outside because I cannot go inside. So I spend eight plus hours a day in the sun and I drink over a gallon of water and electrolytes every day and I'm still dehydrated. So I come home at the end of the day completely and totally exhausted from being out in the heat and sweating and not being able to cool off and throw pain on top of that. So I just kind of exist in the bedroom with a book. Um, if you've been watching my recent shorts, you will see lots of things for egg life wraps. I have a couple more that I might do, but I'm also going to start on truffles because right now I'm just looking for things that are super easy and super quick. Don't take a lot of time. Don't take a lot of effort and also don't heat up my house. So we're going to be seeing some of those and I've just kind of been not even meal prepping that much. What I am meal prepping is kind of boring because I'm just doing some keto chow shakes and, and creamies and stuff like that just to help get me through um, and have easy stuff for lunches. But it's easy just to take an egg life wrap, throw some mayonnaise in it and a lunch um, slice of some lunch meat and there I go out the door with my lunch for the day. But since I have been just resting as much as possible when I get home, I have done a ton of reading. I read six books last month, which was awesome. Well, it was five, it was mostly six because one of those counts for June and it was really only the last 25% of the book. 
that I got to read. But I don't have them to show you because I read them digitally or listened to an audiobook of them. I just finished last night the Fourth Wing series so far. There is a third book coming, but not till July. I I loved the series more than I thought I would. Everybody said it was really good, and I am finding that I am definitely a fantasy romance kind of person. So that was really cool. I really enjoyed that series. The other thing that I recently did is I ordered a blind date with a book. So I fell back on romance as my favorite category and I got a book with all kinds of book accoutrements and stuff like that. It was really, really fun. Well, the book I got in there was this one. It's called Sunkissed and it is by Cassie West. I liked the book. I'm not going to rate it super high. It was probably like a three for me. It was just cute. Um, it was about a teenage couple and that doesn't really appeal to me, uh, but it was cute, it was clean, it was just a fun story. It kind of had major dirty dancing vibes because they go to a summer camp in the forest. Uh, so yeah, but it was cute. So if you're wanting a cute, easy read, uh, this, this could be a good one that you like. So that uh, brings up my total so far for June to three. Pretty much I've just been trying to cope with the daily life, the daily grind and things like that. I did have an injection in my hand for um, the carpal tunnel, which was a cortisone injection. And it appears that that has failed and not has not worked. Uh, it was really difficult because for the first two and a half days, it caused a major, major pay, flame, it, bleh, I can't talk today. It caused a major pain flare. That's the words that need to come out. And I could hardly move my hand. I wanted to just climb out of my skin and go somewhere else. It was so bad. I wanted to cry and scream and just cut my arm off all at, all at the same time. Not, it was not a fun pain. That did calm down after a while. I did have to call out of work on Wednesday because I could hardly move my fingers. So I worked Thursday, Friday, and then by Saturday, I was still in a lot of pain, got to the point where I could not move my thumb. So I came home early and then just through some other things that have come up through work, I was just emotionally, mentally, and physically exhausted and had a bunch of pain too. And I stayed home from work on Sunday. My paycheck is not going to be very happy, but I always take care of me first. I put me first, my mental health first, because I'm the only one that can do that. Nobody else can do that for me. So that is what I am doing. We have some fun things coming up the rest of this week, so you'll have to stay tuned to the channel for that. We've got a new recipe coming on Friday, which I'm really excited to share with you. Um, it's gonna be the second recipe in our No Heat Up the House summer cooking challenge. I guess we can call it a summer cooking challenge, so I'm super excited about that as well. Squats <laughs> and sit-ups. I have woefully fallen off the wagon I am not ashamed to admit it. There is just so much stuff going on in my life. Yesterday, I did 50 of the 100 squats and just couldn't do it anymore. Just couldn't do it anymore. I do want to revisit the squat challenge again. Part of my problem is I'm just in general pain and I don't always want to like move that much. So I was trying to do it. I was trying to keep up with it and I just didn't have the greatest mindset and I just didn't want to do it. So instead of stressing myself out about it, I decided to let it go and we're going to revisit it another time because I do want to do it. I do want to do the squats. I do want to do the sit-ups. I'd love to get to the point where that I can do push-ups, but I can't even attempt push-ups right now until I know more what's going on in my hand and see how that is going to go. But that's really all that has been going on in my life. It's just been a ton of reading. I have read, I don't know, 12, 1500 pages in the past week and a half. Yeah, week and a half. So it is what it is. 
Well, thank you so much for tuning in to Sarah G's story and me rambling on about what has not really changed in my life, but I appreciate all of you and I hope that you like this video. Please uh, subscribe and hit that bell notification because I promise there is lots of fun things coming this week that you will want to see and enjoy. I hope you all have a wonderful and joyful day. Bye for now.